Good day guys, um, we're just doing a quick stream today to showcase uh, new f some new stuff that's coming in Arcfall in the next update. Uh, let's just make sure that you guys can hear me uh, properly. Everything is set correctly. So uh, our next update is going to be in about a week's time. This is going to be a pretty big update for Arcfall. Uh, today I'm just going to showcase a few things that we have been adding in. Uh, one of the things that we added in was pretty good is uh, farming and housing. So uh, this is still a really early build of, of this. There's a few things still missing in, in it that we really need to polish still. But uh, let's get started. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to, to ask them in chat and uh, I'll see if I can answer those for you. So, to start off with, we're on a, another version of, a, of one of the islands that we have. This is a, a housing island. So, islands is divided up into different sections in the game. You have gameplay islands, which is, it's all in one, one area, so the housing is non-instance. But you have like gameplay islands where people can go and quest and kill mobs and gather resources and so on, and then you have housing islands where players can actually build their own houses and so forth so in the housing system we have different sections different uh, house plots like you have farming where you can only do farming stuff like plant crops and so on we have uh, residential commercial i mean residential uh, keep and castle plots so they all scale up in size and the bigger the plots get uh, the more they cost and the more taxes you have to pay So to start off with I'll show you guys quickly uh, the farm area. So this this is a farming plot right here. Usually you can uh, see it Changing it'll be a little bit different like this and and usually all housing or farm plots has got a housing sign a for sale sign at the front So as a player you would come here You click on the sign. So this is the UI that will open up. So I already bought this plot here uh, on the sign UI, you'll see the owner, the plot type, the size of the plot, status will be if it's for sale and so on. And then you have a tax rate. So currently the tax rate on this this plot here is uh, 8 silver per day. And the tax rate depends on what type of plot it is and what size it is. And then you have the current taxes. So when you buy your first, when you buy the plot, you automatically get up to five days of uh, tax time. This is uh, real-time uh, days, not in-game days. So when you buy the plot, it costs a certain amount of silver, but also you get uh, extra tax time for it. When the tax time runs out, uh, you actually lose this plot. You lose the plot and it gets abandoned and for sale again for somebody else to buy. Or if you get back in time, you can buy it yourself. As uh, after you've bought a uh, plot or a house deed, you'll see this world builder uh, icon at the top here. You can only activate it when you're inside a plot. So if I stand outside the plot, I won't be able to activate that UI. If you go inside the plot and you activate the UI, it opens up the building UI for this specific plot. So I can close this, I don't need this. Other thing we also added that I thought I would mention quickly is uh, you'll see all, on a lot of these uh, interfaces, for instance, we have a little red question mark. That's like a little tooltip to explain something about the specific interface you're working with. Like this one says that you can left left click to split stacks and so forth. Uh, this one says to to click on an object in your claim if you want to edit it or um, do something with it so as you can see it we offer also have a borderline this might change the graphics later on but this shows your borderline of your of your deed so this is the area that you own and you can see other plots around there uh, you can see the taxes is here so you have four days left if you want to uh, add more tax to your time you can add tax at any time you want you just go click the add button and say for instance I want to add in let's say 10 silver so if I add in 10 silver it's going to add one day to my tax time 
you just click buy and now you see I've increased my tax time on this specific deed so that's how you add tax taxes is all um, in line with with your gold and your currency that you have you can also set per permissions we have to fix the little UI here so you can set permissions to different areas and you can also sell set this property for sale so somebody else can come and buy it if you want to sell it to make some profit out of it but uh, for now let's start off with farming so to do farming you'll have different seeds and stuff that you can plant in farms you can also uh, we'll showcase it later on uh, you can um, raise uh, cattle or uh, chicken and stuff like that uh, or things that you can put on the farm but the seeds that you gather will either be sold by vendors or you can also get the seeds from uh, killing certain mobs and so on so you can see uh, it's a ginseng seed that I have here and it tells you the claim type in the tooltip is for farms so you know you can put it in farms so let's start off uh, firstly with this so when you click on the seed there you can see you have a little snap point you can't go out as soon as you go out to the edge of it you'll see it changes to red the object so you can't place the outside the, your property and you have certain snap points so you can just click on it and now there we go I placed the place the ginseng down there and if you right click on it it opens up your farming menu now this doesn't work if you right click on it when you don't have your build menu open nothing happens so to to grow your crops or to work to edit any objects you have to have your building menu open and then you can right click on items so you can see here we have uh, required so this is the the stuff required to to grow for instance this crop so you need water so let me uh, grab some water here first this is uh, just for for admin and Jimmy so you can't get this in the game yourself <laughs> I'll just get like say 30 water so to start growing your crop you put some water in there and then you start and you say build for instance so you know you can see a timer goes there I can close this go around do whatever I want to do come back here and the timer is still going for the next stage so each crop has certain amount of stages that it grows and there's certain items now these items aren't the real ones for crops to grow at the moment this is just to show you guys but we will have fertilizer and other things that you can can make to grow certain crops and so on uh, there's a few stages we'll also set the stages the UI needs to change a little bit so now you see the next stage requires water and uh, cypher pl uh, planks I mean cypher logs and then we just click build again so it will go again so we got to the next stage so let's keep going going with this so uh, also like this is pretty quick but when uh, actual crops and stuff gets bo uh, balanced and so on this will take maybe an hour depending on what crop it is uh, before it's fully grown so each crop will be different depending on what it is so now that the crop is done you see it says edit object so it's done if you pick it up now you can pick it up but you'll lose your resource there so it's actually created a resource note there for you so let's just close this so now you have a resource there so if you go there and you can pick it up you'll see you gather one ginseng and two seeds so you've actually got some more seeds from this one each crop will depend on what it drops if you're lucky you get seeds if you don't you don't get any seeds or so on so at the latter stage what we will be doing also is uh, we'll be adding in auto watering systems and stuff like that so you can automatically water your crops without being there over a period of time or gathering and so on one thing to note though is right now if you 
plant crops here and it gets to the final stage anybody can uh, can pick it what will happen is if somebody picks your crop that's not on your on on their farm when we implement the karma system they'll lose karma which will then automatically flag them as um, pvp and then you'll be able to place down like scarecrows and stuff like that that will actually damage players that are in pvp so you can protect your crops too the other thing you can also do is you can we'll have a fencing that you can place on the edges here that's higher than for characters to jump over so they won't be able to get into your crops with the fences through the fences although later when we implement flying mounts if they have flyers they can still get to it so it's a little bit of a pvp slash pve setup where if you want to steal stuff and so on you're going to be losing karma and be flagged pvp and eventually you won't be able to return from pvp you can only play pvp so if you're a if you're a bad person <laughs> you're going to be stuck on that <laughs> so uh, the other the other nice thing of crops is because you have different resources instead of gathering resources the whole time certain resources you can farm for instance this and then you can actually for instance place down wheat and then you can farm the wheat and create the flour and so on with it and you also have different buildings that you'll be placing on on farmland too like uh, say for chickens you'll place a chicken uh, a den or so on you know and then you can spawn chicken it'll spawn chicken in as you put eggs into it and and grow it as a crop so it's pretty much the same sort of system that we'll be using for a lot of uh, growing and so on of things so that's that's pretty much the crops in a nutshell like i say you just click on the seeds you can place a few of them and you can only place them a certain distance so Plant them there. I'm too far away from it. Why doesn't it want to place there? But anyway, so yeah, it seems that we have a little bug of placing them. <laughs> Like I say, this is still very early stages. I thought we'll just want to show you guys what we what we've been working on. So the other thing, once again, you open up your uh, your little menu. You click on one of the crops, and we can start start placing your resource in there that you need to build, and you go. And then we click on another one. We place that in there. So you can do as many as you want at a time, so they'll just go so that one grew. And you'll wait for this one, it's gonna pop up now. There we go. So that's to the next stage, and now you can just keep growing it. So any more questions on uh, crops before we move on to housing? Okay, so let's uh, just run up here. Like deeds, uh, uh, plots are all scattered around the the, the building islands. Uh, you can own as many plots as you want. Uh, so, but just remember, like I said, there's taxes on all of them running out. So if you own a lot of plots, you're gonna have to pay a lot of taxes on them. So we're just gonna go up here quickly to some. Uh, I think there's a deed area right up here. Now I can show you guys how the housing housing system works. I mean, we still have a few bugs in the system. We're still working out some some bugs and so on. Yeah, here's some wild some wild resources. So this is a this is a housing deed. So you saw our farm deed looks. And it also states it on there. This is the housing deed, yeah. So it has a little bit of a clearing there. But these signs are the ones that you have to look for. So once again, if you click on the house, the house sign, you see this one I don't own. 
so I haven't bought this one so it says residential that's your plot type is residential and uh, okay so let's see here okay so if I buy this uh, plot deed Okay, let's see, uh, just one sec, I just want to see something here quickly. Okay, so if you click the property, you'll see we have a buy sign here, and the owner is is nobody. So it's this this property here costs 90, 90 silver. So if we click buy, and uh, we click it again, now you can see that we we actually own this property. And once again, like I said, the taxes taxes are set up there. So. First thing you can do in, in your house plot is you can do different things like building and so on. So let's start off with the building. So like we have different sizes. I'll show you guys the other size. Um, let's open up the, the UI here. So that once again there's your borderline. You can see these little posts that's there. So if I turn this off you see there's little posts. That also shows you, indicates you what your, your borders of your property is. So let's turn that on, the, the build sign. And uh, let's start here. So you can see this property daily tax is 18 silver, where the farm area was only 8 silver per day. So, so now you know how much each property goes up by a certain amount. So first thing I want to do here is I'm going to place down a house. So there's different things that you can place down property like for instance housing and you have like items that you can place down like chests uh, furniture and so on uh, certain items requires you to to build it up in stages so will require building materials and so on and then certain items is just basic items that you've already crafted and you can just place them down so to start off, uh, let's start off uh, with a house. So we have different size houses. Uh, this is just uh, the first small one. It's, uh, if you mouse over it, you'll see there. It's a blueprint for a two by two uh, Turanga house. Now we have different, gonna have different styles as well. So Turanga style is the ones you're gonna see now. And you can see there claim types for residential. Uh, we'll also be adding in the, the resources and so on into the tooltip there. So if you click it, it brings up the the final version if you build a house to all the stages so this is the final version of the house you can move it around if you go outside the borderline it'll go red you see it doesn't allow me to to build it i don't know if it's uh, if it's maybe too dark for people to see <laughs> just let me know if it's too dark but uh okay so you see there we can't build there so i'm gonna just place it down so if you place it down you can see i start building it And there we go. So now we have our first uh, stage of, of the house. So you can't place anything inside this stage yet. This is just a construction stage. Now to upgrade this, we're going to require some resources. So to uh, while you have the build menu open, you can actually right click on the house. You see it turns green. And now it lists to you what uh, resources is required. So you can see that we need bronze nails and we need 40 of them. And you need cypher planks, you need 80 of them. So this is the amount that you need. The stages aren't set yet the UI, but it will show you which stage you are at. So uh, let me grab some some items quickly. So let's see, uh, we need cypher, cypher planks. So cypher planks you craft at a sawmill. So a lot of these things you'll be crafting the resources to build up your house and so on. 
So let's grab some cy cypher planks. So we need 80, and I know I'm gonna need more. So let's go down to say, I think it's like say 300. I do 300, so I grab some more. And then I'll just grab some. Oh, what did I do there? Yeah, some bronze nails. Okay, so uh, we open it up. You drag in your resource there. So we have that. This UI is a little bit out, but we'll be fixing that up. And then you start build. So now we're building to the next stage. So that was stage one. This is going to be stage two. So now you can see it's changed a little bit. Close this. You can see this has all changed a little bit. We've got some walls on now. And things are changing in here. You can even stand inside here if you want to build too. doesn't matter. So uh, let's open up this build menu again. Let's get it to the next stage. So the first stages are for just the wood design and uh, the wood, st wood stages are like four different stages <laughs> yeah, somebody just mentioned that it's uh, one nail for every two every two boards or every one board but uh that'll be changing as you as each stage goes up you'll see the amount of resources you need to put in there changes as well so this one we need 60 and, uh, and 120, so let's build to the next stage. Okay, so now we got to the next stage of the housing. So you can see we only have two walls missing still. So let's... Uh, oh, I just removed it. <laughs> so yeah, you can remove your, your stages at any stage. <laughs> So watch out to doing that. We'll have a, a little menu pop up there saying, are you sure you want to remove it like I just did now? <laughs> so let's uh, let's replace this again. I'll quickly build this up again. Drag in our wood. Keep building it. Let me grab some more resources now. So this is not a uh, gonna be a quick build. You can't just build quickly and so on. But uh, you'll uh, you'll have to gather all the resources and so on, uh, uh, and craft all the materials for it as you build. To make, we're making it so it's unique for housing. Also, the other thing we'll be adding to housing is each size and each stage of the housing will increase the amount of items you can place inside the house. So you have a certain amount of slots that opens up. And as the houses go bigger and, and higher stages, you actually increase to, to, to more items you can place inside there. Build to the next one. Okay, so we still have enough there. I'll just build them all now to all the different stages. Okay, so I think that's our house. So we got to stage three. So our house is uh, completed now. At this stage, you can start placing items inside the house, for instance. So there's my little house. There are also going to be doors in front of the house that you can lock and so on. Uh, we'll be adding that in soon. So now once you get to this, the fourth stage of the wood stage, you can actually start placing some items down in it. So we see I got some chests here. So a chest you can also snap around inside the house. Certain items can only be placed inside your house on a, on a floor. And certain items can be placed anywhere. So you can also place a chest outside if you wanted to. Like this for instance. Now, once again, in this house, if you go to the edge, if you go outside where you can't place it, it'll turn red, the object. So, let's start here. Um, for objects, you can rotate objects. So, you can see there I'm rotating this chest by just scrolling, the mouse scroller. So, uh, I'm going to place uh, the chest there. 
So now that I have a chest there, I can actually open up my chest. Now you, ha now you have a chest there you can place items in. So I could put some resources in here for instance and then this is how you do storage. Different types of chests will have d uh, different sizes as well. Okay, so there we go. We place the chest down. Let's see what else we have here. So uh, this is a uh, simple table. Now these items here for instance, some of them will be selling like cosmetic ones that looks different in our store and we also you'll have carpentry you'll be crafting a lot of these yourself as well with carpentry without uh, needing to buy anything so i'm just going to put this uh, table there and uh, let's see i grab some chairs here i put a chair there i rotate the chair a little bit one there and now i don't like the chair there so if i open up my build menu you can see when I go over something, it highlights green. So if I select it, now you have the edit object. So you can pick it up and it goes back in your bag. Or you can actually uh, move it. So you see now I click move and now I can rotate it and I can put it somewhere else. So I put it there. And uh, let's say... So that's where you place some items. But this house isn't done. So you have 10 stages of building in a house. And uh, let's start here. So we open up again. So if I click the house, you'll see now I still need, I need other stuff. Now we in, end up needing a uh, pine plank and you need stone blocks. So now you're going to need stone blocks, pine plank and some uh, tin nails. So each stage has got the different resources of the different stages as well. Uh, let me grab some of that. Let's see, uh, so pine plank. How many do I need? I need 200 of those. And uh, stone box. So we need 60 stone blocks. So stone blocks you'll be crafting at, at the masonry. And then 10 nails. And we need 100 of those. So even though you have items in your house placed already, you can still upgrade it to the next stage without problems. So let's start off here, I drag in uh, the 10 nails, some blocks, and planks, let's start building it. So there we go, we upgraded the house, you can see now we have a stone house version of this, so we go out See now it's changed to, to a stone house. So that's how you keep upgrading to each stage. And like I said, each stage will give you like additional slots. We're also looking at certain items in the house to give you certain buffs, including the different stages of the house as well. So I can do one more upgrade. Let me do show you guys one more upgrade and then uh, I'll go show you guys a few other things that we have that's in this, in this com build that's coming. If anybody has any questions on housing, make sure to ask them. Oh, so the houses, uh, this is this is the smallest house. This is uh, just a 2x2. Two two. Uh, the houses goes up to, uh, right now we have houses that goes up to about 4x3. Uh, so each wall like this is a unit. So you can have 3 units wide and 4 units in the width. So basically the house, that uh, the bigger ones, we haven't uh, added them in yet in the building cell section yet, but when uh, we do release, they'll be like at least four times the size. And then for castles and keeps, we have we're gonna have even bigger ones uh, that will fit on the big keep plots. You know, so you, you can actually have a, a castle that's maybe a 10 by 10 at least. So it'll be pretty big. Now also you have different storage. This is a single story house. Then you'll have a double story, and then you have a triple story. So you can have three stories going up as well. 
Uh, let me quickly do upgrade here, and I'll go show you guys the plots. Let's see what I need for for this upgrade here. Okay, so the next stage needs a uh, oak plank and sandstone block. So let me uh, grab some of that. There goes some oak plank. How much do we need? 240. And as you can see, the resources are harder resources, but they also the amount of them goes up as well. So when you get to the later stages, you know, it's going to be costing a bit of resources to get to it. Uh, this is iron nails, and we need 120 of those babies. And this is sandstone. And we need 72 of those. Okay, so... See oak plank in there. And then Let's upgrade it. Yeah, there you go. That's a that's a sandstone house tier. And if you see, we go inside. You see, I've upgraded it, and all the furniture and stuff is there too. Uh, we also have crafting stations. I haven't shown you guys this, but you can craft, for instance. So let me uh, just zoom in here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put this outside. So like I say, you can place different things. So this is a crafting station. I'm just going to... I don't know why it doesn't want to place there. There you go. So now I've placed the furnace down there. And now if I click it out, you can see I can uh, craft at my own property. So all the, all the crafting stations that's available in the game, you'll be able to craft as well, depending on your carpentry level. And uh, you can just use it as an old crafting station. Uh, let's see uh, see if I can put a, show you guys a few more furniture. So I can want to make this a little bit better looking. Let me get rid of this. I don't need this now just make t making me too heavy there we go okay I got a fireplace here so this is a nice little fireplace you can craft later on there you go nice and cozy so we have a fireplace going and let's put a chair there there you go you can put beds and everything in here and uh, I see I got another chest so maybe I'll put the chest here next to the to the fireplace. There you go. And then I'll put away my stuff in the chest. So that's pretty much how the housing is going to work, to give you guys an idea. Like I said, there's bigger bigger plots and so on. So if we look here, this will be... Uh, I'll just go in here and I'll just show you guys. So this is the... The base size plot that we get. That's how big it looks. And then if we go down here, I'll show you guys the size of the. So that's a residential plot. I think it's uh, this way. I'll show you guys a, a keep plot. Like we say, there's going to be different islands as well. It's got properties on them. You, you can find maybe a single island that's just got one property for a house and one property for a, a farm. So you can actually basically own the whole island if you if you build there. If you like to be like a hermit. This one here I think is a keep plot. Let me just see. Uh, uh, keep, yeah. So you can see this, uh, this is double the size of the previous plot. The other one was uh, 20 or 30 by 30. 
and this is 40 sorry it's 10 more so to give you guys an idea let me see if I can buy this one I got unlimited oh no not I don't have enough funds for it how much do I need luckily I'm admin I can have as many funds as I want let's get some gold okay so okay let's buy the keep so you see the taxes now is 30, 32 silver per day. So taxes goes up the size of your of your deed. So uh, and if we go in here and we turn on the thing. So this will give you guys an idea how big that plot is. You can see it's pretty big actually compared to the other one we had. So you can build, you can even build multiple houses here. And if you do sharing with, with other people permissions, you can actually have multiple people living here in their own houses actually. So this is a nice size. Uh, this is the keep size, and now I'll show you guys the size of the castle. So I think there's a castle plot just up the corner here. plot so you can see our mini map isn't finished yet but the mini map will be in uh, for the release and it will show different different plots available for uh, purchasing as well so this is a, a castle plot so once again if you click on it you see the plot type is castle nobody owns this so and it's cost two silver, uh, two co two gold and fifty silver. So let's buy that, and then I go here and I'll turn this on. So this is this is a fifty by fifty. So it's an extra ten by ten additional size to the previous one you saw. Like this is pretty big, so you must probably place it on a big castle, and you can do some walls and stuff like that around it, and make it like you how you want to make it. Or you can have at least, I would say, one, two, three. You can have at least four or five houses, small houses on this deed also. If you wanted to do it that way as well. So that's uh, pretty much how the housing works. If, uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'll uh, just show you guys. So this is this island is uh, called, uh, I think it's Barlin. And... Like this island will have, has got a little bit more uh, content than than other island. You might think this looks a lot like Omar. It's the same uh, level in resources uh, in the resource islands, but uh, this one has got something nice. I'll show you guys now. So we're adding in a little bit more uh, variety and mobs as well in the next update. So we haven't added any mobs on this islands. Uh, they'll be coming in the next this week, straight for release. But one of the one of the main mobs that's coming in is actually skeletons and like the undead. So right there, you'll see there's a uh, there's a little uh, graveyard. Have we made here? It's the sun. Graveyard spirit show at night. <laughs> anyway, there's the graveyard. And uh, when the game get, uh, gets released, the next update gets released, there will be a lot of skeletons here to fight. The graveyard does have some good resources though. And we're also going to have a crypt that goes in there. So you can uh, actually go into a dungeon. So other thing I'll go show you guys now is uh, let's go to let's 
let's go to Tauranga. So this is where you guys starting. This is you guys know this little island. What we did add in, you'll see on the mini map, is we have now locations of merchants for specific uh, crafting stations and so on. So you'll see there we have uh, the books are for alchemy, the hammer is for blacksmithing, and that's going to be like for sea traveling. So you, you get a more indication, more where to go to. Also what we added on top, if there's a merchant, you'll see at the top uh, he's got a little icon now showing it's a merchant or, or what it is. Like that one there. And, uh, okay, so we're introducing uh, the, the new housing island in the next update. But we're also going to introduce another island. So now I have to see what it is. So this is a new biome that's coming in, in the next update. Like once again we haven't placed any mobs down, so this is still here. So this is the pine, pine forest. Uh, the island's called uh, Glendine. It's got a nice little feel to it. And uh, there's the town there. So I'll quickly run around here. Like I say, we haven't got any NPCs into the into this area yet. That's going to be released in the next, next week or two. When we do our next release update. And then we'll have that in there. I thought I'll just do a quick run around and give you guys an idea of the new biome that's coming. So this will have a, a little bit of a few more uh, crafting crafting stations, crafting areas, uh, a new unique crafting areas. So each town, you if you don't know, if you haven't played the game yet, has got different uh, merchants that sells different crafting recipes. So you have to buy your recipes, and each town has got different grades too. So for instance, this is a higher grade area, so the merchant here will be selling higher grade recipes to, to craft. So uh, there's a little mage. So whatever you see, uh, these same furniture and stuff, all these will be available to be placed in your own house as well. So you can put lamps down, everything like this, and your house could look, you can make it just like this. If you have a specific, uh, like a bar, you could make a, a uh, in for instance and you can place down certain things furniture that's according to that or if you're doing a mage mage house you can do that and eventually we're looking at maybe even adding in some uh, player vendors as well uh, you know even though we have an auction house the auction house has got a fee involved with it so every time you play something you can pay it but if you have your own merchants maybe we'll make it that you actually don't have any fees involved for uh, placing items in them but then people have to travel to your place to, to actually get that. So if you see up there, it's a nice castle area. You can go up to the castle. Well, that's a nice moon. So this is going to be a, another little town that you guys will hang around. And I'll uh, just quickly go run around to show you guys the, the forest area. So if anybody got any other questions, uh, make sure to ask them. So this area is a tier uh, uh, 10, I would say level 10 to 25 so the mobs here will be level 10 to 25 uh, so as well as the resource nodes and so on that you get in this area uh, there's a little farm here that you can come and pick some cotton for instance you can get some cotton here I think we haven't done the resource nodes we've got a little lake here This is some stone here, different types of stone, I think that's coal. This little lake area here.
So this is a much thicker forest area than uh, than the previous biomes that you, we had. So this is pretty pretty nice actually. So all these trees, that's the small ones like these ones here. These are all the ones that you can harvest. These are pine trees. The bigger ones, the big big ones, those you can't harvest. But like you can get pine pine wood here, wood logs. Uh, there's like different different things that we've added into this one. Is there a lot of tin ore here? It's a little bit of uh, effect that we got in here. These are tin ore notes you can harvest. Like I actually really like this little area here. It's like nice foresty. Uh, the mobs that's going to be in here is going to be like black bears, uh, some deer. I think it's going to be some rats in this area because we we have a dungeon or two here. So it's going to be a lot lot more content that's to play when this comes out. And this island is a is a little bit bigger than the previous islands in a, in the amount of things that you can do in it, like content. Now each tier island like this, there will be a, a, a same similar one for housing as a housing island as well. So if you like this biome for instance, you can actually have it. There's another island that will be for housing that you can actually build in the same similar biome. Uh, we're going to have desert biomes, snow biomes. There's a bunch of different biomes that's coming. So and each one, like I said, will have its own uh, housing housing area that you can actually build a house on housing on too, on the islands. That building islands. I like how it's when it's night time, it really looks nice. I think it's got that eerie dark feeling. So I won't go in there, but that's going to be like uh, a new camp for you guys to explore. There's not going to be good people in that, that little base there. So I think uh, we're going to wrap it up. This gives you guys an, a little bit of an idea that what's coming. Uh, we're hoping to get all this out. Uh, along with this, we've we've done a ton of fixes and stuff on the back, back end. So, so the game should be way more stable in the next update. Hopefully, I think we might have fixed the. Uh, I think we fixed a few of the bugs, like the XP not being gaining and and so on. Uh, as well uh, as quests won't be in the next update until we get that fixed. That's still been a bug for us, and uh, it's game breaking. So we have to had to remove it in this coming update still. But what we'll be doing is uh, all NPCs will actually have dialogue now. So every NPC you click on. We'll have something that he could tell you, maybe tell you to go like of uh, locations that's hidden and so on, or give you a guide on, on things to do. So although you're not getting uh, any, it's not like a normal game where you have your quest and you just follow the quest and that's how we guide you. Basically, you're going to have to go and, and look for things yourself right now. Like you have to go to the NPC, speak to them, explain to them what you want and so on. That gives you a good idea idea of everything. So if anybody's got any other questions, uh, make sure to ask them now. Otherwise, I think we'll call that a wrap. Well, thanks for uh, coming to watch. Uh, we look forward to you guys in the, in the next big patch, which we hope is coming in the next week. 
And uh, I think the amount of gameplay that's going to be involved, especially with the dungeons and stuff that we're looking to finish off this week, it's going to be pretty good, actually. Uh, we're also adding the amount of new crafting items and recipes and so on. Is, is quite a bit that's being added into the game. So with the housing and so on, it opens up a lot of new avenues as well. Yeah, uh, you can also make sure to come and uh, find us on Discord or leave a message on our uh, Steam page. Uh, we'll be busy updating our website as well. It's we're doing some major updates onto the website, so that'll be opened up in uh, in the next week as well. Uh, and from there, we're actually going to be posting a lot of information and and so on with the media as we're getting closer to a more stable version of the game. So we look forward to seeing you guys in the game and uh, we'll talk to you again.